Hello. All right, so I'm going to show you today how to use the material maker to convert a material that's from a different material pack. So let's just say you found a really good material and you want to make it a daisy one. You're not quite sure how to do it. I'm going to show you today, but I'm going to be using Blender Kit because it's got a huge library of uh, materials and stuff. So to start off with, you're going to need this material maker. You can download this with the texture pack. So if you go back to your account page on flanker.com, you'll see a material maker downloader, the download button. Sorry. So you want to download that, open this in your Blender and you'll get something like this. First thing you want to do, or you don't want to zoom out, I don't know why I did that for, is you want to go to Material Preview up here, the set Render Preview, sorry. So once you're on here, click on the ball, and with this material pack that I'm using up here, it's a Blender Kit, you simply click on Find Materials, and let's just find a random material, this, this thing here, click on it, and it applies it. And I don't know why this, this is, what's happening? Why can't I get rid of this? Oh, there we go, close it. So we've got this like weird little marble looking thing. And this is the material that you get given. And it's hella confusing. So let's just um break this down. I don't want this uh mixed shader stuff in here. So yeah, I've got a little bit of, let me expand this so you can see what we're working with. So this is the, um, the principal BSDF. Let me just delete that, we don't need that. So as you can see, it's got the base color, the roughness and normal. That's pretty much that's all that's used on this one. So I simply now go to my nodes, which I, I'm going to expand this window here on the right, on the left, sorry, expand that out and change this to my asset browser. You should have this Daisy texture node. If you bought the texture baker or the animator. So drag this in, uh, let me close this window now, cause I don't need this one. Close that area. I'm going to drag this over here and then the color, we're going to basically go through all of this and connect it to this if there is anything to connect and also set the values. So the base color into base color. Uh, we've got the metallic set to zero to so drag that down. Specular, which I don't believe. Yeah, here. Well, we're going to leave this specular because I'm not entirely sure that that matters with this, but we're, we set this in the, on the um, RV mat itself later on. So we get the roughness, put that into there, the normal. Let's just preview this normal one second and see what this looks like. So that's the wrong kind of normal. We're going to need a normal converter. So let's go back to this thing here. I believe I have one in here. Uh, that's a normal mixer. I don't actually have the the normal thing marked as an asset. So how can we do this one second? <laughs> I'll just shift A, see if I've got one installed. Normal map, no normal, normal bake. So I'll try and get a link for this for you, this normal bake node. So just simply drag this. It's he looking hella confusing for you right now, I'm sorry. I haven't made a video in a while, so I'm a bit skew on this stuff. I've been playing Call of Duty. Um, there we go. So let's just connect that back up to there a minute. Then we're going to connect that one to there. And now you can see it's like the kind of normal that Daisy recognizes. So let me just shut that over there out of the way. So this normal now has been converted using normal bake. I'll put that into normals. And then if I connect BSDF up to there, you can see we have the thing. So I can delete that one. So this was the, um, let me grab the ambient occlusion and put that into AO shadows. I don't think it really matters with this one, but that there is now converted to a daisy texture, but I'm going to call this one marble. Uh, marble. How do you spell marble? Yeah. Marble hyphen daisy, oh, daisy text texture like this. And just copy this name because you're going to need this in a moment. So we've got all that. And I want to. Now, oh, let me just preview this normal real quick. Oh, okay. So there's that's the normal that we need. Ignore what we just said here. You normally get a normal map like this, but you drag that into the normal and then. What I'm doing there, by the way, is I'm pressing Control Shift and clicking on something that will automatically preview it. So you can see what your image is, like you look, what you're looking for. And I do it on there, and it'll, it'll cycle through these. If I hold Control Shift and I keep clicking, it will cycle through each one of these. All right, so, so there's the um the thing. I'm gonna add a scale value in here. So I Shift A, search for value. I'm just gonna shut this up in here and connect the value to the scale. So then I can really mess with that a little bit. So there's that texture done some some sort of way. Not very clean, 
but that's you can clean that up yourself if you really wanted to. So we copy that name anyway, and then you, um, uh, which one was it? I can't remember which one it was. Do I, all right, click on this uh, this material ball up here. Sorry, click on that. Right click it and mark as asset. It's already marked as an asset, which is perfect actually. So I go to file, save as, and then in this material maker download file, you'll see this shortcut to materials library. You click on that. I go to my materials and paste that name there. Marble daisy texture dot blend save. Then I press F12 to get a screenshot of this. And I go to image, save as, and paste it in there, the same name again. It will automatically append the .png on there. And you save image. And you can close that render preview. Now, uh, if I go to my daisy textures, refresh, go down to my materials, you'll see that I now have the marble one. And like I did in my previous video, I'll click on the background and apply the material. So you can see it applies. So that's, I don't know why I just did that. This, this is something I need to look into. Ignore this mistake. Um, these images, for some reason, they're not being found. I need to find a way of um, saving them into the actual thing. I know this is what someone was asking before. So this video is just to show you how to convert an existing one. It will work on your computer if you haven't changed any of the locations, which I have. I've changed the location of these because they're in my download folder. folder. So this will be an update coming soon where the images will automatically bind to the file itself so you don't lose them when you when you move stuff around very often. But that was a mistake that helped me explain something to you guys. So that will be coming soon. And like that's done now. So I can close this. Uh, I don't want to save it because it's already done. And now if I go to Blender, I'm also using 3.6 because some people are having issues with Blender 4.0. Not on my part, but some add-ons do not work, so it, it gives a lot of errors when you're trying to use some of the add-ons. So I'm sticking to Blender 3.6 for now. Like my add-ons work in there. It's just you get a lot of errors from other add-ons that you might be using. Like I'm not sure if um the armor toolbox works correctly in there. So like before, let's change this preview window a minute. And then go to my materials. Oh, that's the wrong one. I want to go to my materials and then apply. There we go, it's applied successfully. So if I don't move any images or anything like that, whereas this this add-on here, the images are built into the add-on itself. So as long as you don't uninstall that add-on, this is Blender Kit. As long as you don't uninstall that add-on, you should be absolutely fine. It's just when you do your own PBR textures and you use them from your documents or your like from your downloads or something, and then when you clean your downloads, it can't find that image. So the image, your texture just goes pink. So if you see pink anywhere in here, like if I do it with this one, you see, if, you, if your texture goes pink, it, it means there's something missing. There's textures missing from the actual, from the node group. So I hope that helped. This add-on, you can get it for free. Well, not all of it's for free, but the majority of it is for free. So if I search for something like uh, stone, you'll see it comes up with all these stone textures. Like a lot of these are displacement maps. Like this one, for example, that'll have a displacement map. So if you look into the shading tab, you'll see it has... There's a diffuse normals, the height map. So with this height map, on my daisy texture node, there's actually a height map input. So you want to put that into there. So this should be a black and white. Yeah, you see a black and white like this. So I cover that in my other video as well. So make sure you check that in the video description as well. So that might help you understand it a little bit more. I'm a bit off at the minute from making videos. So hopefully this helped you understand. If you do struggle with anything at all, join the Discord. So it's discord.flanker.com. For some reason, HTTPS doesn't work so you just have the http colon slash slash whatever then i'll put a link in the description anyway so i shall see you probably in my discord hopefully this has helped you guys out a lot and i will be working on the texture pack working with transferring the images across so you don't lose them so if you like this video and it helped you out a lot please do hit that like button is my channel's grown a lot if you haven't subscribed already i recommend you do subscribe because Next year is going to be a big one for, I'm making like a, a whole masterclass of texturing and stuff like that. So you don't want to be missing that kind of stuff. And I shall see you around. Goodbye, guys.